Welcome to the third installment of the IUPUI Coaches Show here on the ISC Sports Network. We are live at Mac 9 Golf Entertainment downtown in Indianapolis, and it is another beautiful day to come here and join us at Mac 9. Now, you can't be here as part of the live studio audience. I apologize. They don't open until 4 o'clock, and for the next 30 minutes, we're going to talk about something we don't get to talk about that much uh, in terms of the ISC Sports Network because we kind of focused on basketball for these first two shows. But, uh, again, I am always in awe of the amount of time, the time of day that these athletes put in the work, and that is the swim programs at IUPUI. And, obviously, they have this remarkable luxury of swimming in literally one of the most famous natatoriums in the world on the IUPUI campus where so many major events, Olympic trials have been held over the course of the years. And then again, the Olympic trials are going to be here in Indianapolis too. Kind of like the next big event in town, say, oh, after this weekend's NBA All-Star Game, not to mention uh, the upcoming NCAA tournament, which is in part hosted by IUPUI as well. But if you cannot tell, we're going to talk swimming on the program today. And joining us is the men's and women's head coach in Damian Dennis. Coach, thanks for joining us. Good to have uh, the next 10 or so minutes with you here on the program today. Thanks for having me. So you just heard me that, that preamble. Again, there are very few coaches that their office every day is a place that has the history that you do. What's it like calling the IU Natatorium home and your home pool for so many events, including the upcoming Horizon League championships? Um, it, it's it's a blessing, to be honest with you. Um, it's got its own history, its own energy. It's it's just a thing. Um, I tell all the recruits and, and pretty much our team on a regular basis, when you come down the stairs, there's these little red hallways, and when you walk out the red hallway onto the pool deck, it's just electric. It's a whole thing that is undescribable and, until people experience it themselves. And that's why I think, you know, you see so many meets come back because it is just a special, special place. You and I were talking about this. You're like, hey, I, I kind of want my team to be a little more battle tested on the road and learn that every pool is not like the one that we get to call home. But it's hard for you to find teams that want they don't want to they want to come to your place. Correct. That's absolutely correct. It's. Uh, Every year, you know, we, we set up our meet schedule, our competition schedule, and I'm begging coaches to go. Can I come to you? Can I? No, we want to come to you. We want to come to you. We want to. And, and this year we were lucky. We found a, a few opportunities to get off um, campus and go and, and compete. But it's, I would tell you, if, if we didn't beg, they would always be here. For All sure. right. So, again, obviously the conference championships are coming up. So kind of tell us about the strength of the Horizon League from a swimming and diving perspective. Oh, absolutely. It's, I mean, we're six teams deep right now this year on the men and women's side. And it is a, it's an all-out dogfight. I mean, you could be one year first, second place, and, and the exact same strategy next year could be fourth. I mean, it's just it's that tight at the top, and and it's exciting. Every race is critical. Every athlete is critical. Every opportunity is critical, and really plays a big role in um, what happens over the seven seven sessions. All right, the season up to this point, how has it gone for your two teams so far? Awesome, I love it. Um, I would tell you that how far we've come since August till where we are today, and the growth we've had as a program um, with the athletes, and, and just where we are today is is night and day different. And I think the, the growth pains that we had throughout the year, the ups and downs, um, have prepared us for, for the next you know, five, seven days. And I'm really excited for what we're going to do. What is the level of work like that you and your kids put in during the course of the season? How does that change by the time you're, get, you're wanting them to peak as of right now, the most important meet of the season? What's the preparation like for it? Uh, it is a lot, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> right? It, it's, it's 20 hours of training a week, it, you know, for, from Labor Day weekend pretty much until right now. Yep. And we cut back quite a bit, probably about a third to 40% of our total volume is down. But the reality is, is it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. And there's a lot of things that go into it that, that aren't seen on a daily basis, nutrition, recovery, sleep. Um, mental training, mental positive mental health, you know, and things of that nature. So it's a full-time job. And, and then they have a full-time job being a student and a full-time job, you know, socially and, and as a person, as an adult. So it's a lot. Historically, and, and being a college athlete like an entirely different millennium uh, ago, uh, the rest of us on campus were always amazed at just how early the swimmers got their work in. Is that still the case for your program? Or having a facility like the one you have, does that change that at all? No, it's still the case. I mean, I'm, I'm up every day at 4.10, 4.10 a.m. I'm 
on the road to get down here before 5 a.m. They're they're strolling in somewhere 5:30 in the morning, um, getting ready for six o'clock practice. It's still that case, and it's you know when they we have afternoon practice as well almost every single day. So. It's nonstop. That is a time. lot of work. Why is historically that the case in this sport? Is it to get in two practices a day? Why is that the case? Um, that is probably part of it, to be yeah. honest with you, is a little bit of just the history of it. I think it's also uh, a cultural thing for swimming. It's a toughness thing. It's a thing that, that you know, they've been doing for, it seems like, centuries at this point. But um, it's just a, a part of our culture. Part of what we do is is we get up before, the, before dawn and get more work in than anybody else, and we do it again in the afternoon. And... In some cases, you know, depending on the time of year, we could do it again at night, you know. All right, tell us about the uh, the recruitment. Obviously, the facility is a big part of it, but you're also selling this wonderful experience in the heart of a very dynamic city. We're talking about all these sporting events that are coming up here. Um, when you're recruiting a swimmer to IUPUI, what will be IU Indianapolis as of a few months from now, what's the story you tell to bring him here to downtown Indy? Well, I think I think the pool automatically gets people here. Of course. I don't really talk a lot about the pool. I talk more about the great education of IU and what that is and, and what that means from a long-term perspective for them um, and opportunities and doors that will open. I'll talk about how great the city is. I mean, I'm a Midwesterner. I love coming to Indy. I've loved coming to Indy for most of my life. And there's always been a draw for me to come back. It's got its its energy. It's got its, its you know, um, magnetism to it and i think those two things mixed with a great opportunity educationally great opportunity in the city itself mixing with an opportunity to build your resume is, is second to none this is not exactly something that you have to concern yourself with your kids will sleep in their own beds over the course of, of this weekend how was finding hotel rooms for the horizon league teams during the course of all-star weekend uh, hopefully difficult <laughs> right um i from all perspectives it sounds like a few teams got really lucky because they booked last year in February sure. before they kind of understood what was going on. Others are 45 minutes away. So, you know, it's a, a blessing for us. Home field advantage. 100%. That, that you get. All right, so with that, tell us about the two young people that will be joining us on the show today. Epic. Both of them are epic. Yeah. Um, uh, we, we've been blessed with great people in our program since I got here in the recruitment, recruitment process of finding outstanding individuals, and these two are, are some of the best we've ever had. Some of the best in school history, some of the best our program's ever seen, and just, I mean, they're, they're conference champions. It gets no better than that for what we do. Um, some of the best in the country, too, at the mid-major level and beyond. So we're, we're, we're excited about these two. You and I were talking about an event, and again, you know, most people just go, okay, college sport, your ultimate goal is to make the NCAAs, whether it's the, 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 you know, the qualifiers, the, the championship meet, whatever the case may be. But there is kind of a secondary event that you have, and you liken it to basketball, like an NIT, where a lot of your swimmers will head that route once the conference meet is over with. Tell us about it. The NIC championships, it's in uh, right outside Orlando this year. Um, last year was in Elkhart, and it, it, last year was my first year to get a chance to go, and it's, it's massive. There was 900-plus athletes there competing, and I think it was a good – meet to branch the conference championships to the next level yeah. and a good stepping stone for us. So we went and we had an awesome time. I mean, we swam well. Um, we had several top 10 finishes. We had a national champion at that meet. And I think it really kind of, again, is the next progressive step in our culture for where we want to be at the end of the day, making the NCAA championships regularly in a staple at that meet. And this is a necessary piece of that process. What's going to make this a good weekend for you? What are some of the goals you've set for uh, Friday and Saturday? I want to have fun. Yeah. Like, I, I, won't, I won't get into all of it here, um, but I will say this. I'm, I'm a big fan of watching our athletes do great things. I'm a big fan of our athletes going out and, and going best times and, and doing the thing, but I love the team atmosphere the most. That's yeah. really what – so seeing them come together and, like, the, the general excitement that will happen when somebody goes a fast time or wins an event or something along those lines is, is, is the best part to me. That's what I really look forward to. They're going to win. They're going to have fun. They're going to do those things. But I love that energy really more than anything. Uh, certainly, you're looking forward to these conversations going up. Coach, thanks for the time. My man, Pleasure to you. meet you, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right, uh, again, joining us, the head coach of the IUPUI Swimming and Diving Program in Damian Dennis. Let's thank our friends at Katz, Sapper, and Miller. They're a CPA and advisory firm based in Indianapolis. KSM believes we all have a role to play in supporting the communities where we work and live, and the firm is committed to playing their part. KSM is proud to support many mission-driven organizations 
organizations such as Jaguar Athletics, who is dedicated to providing enhancing life-changing opportunities for IUPUI student-athletes. Let's go Jags. Let's go to break. When we come back, Spencer Jaiwook of the Men's Swimming and Diving Program at IUPUI will join us next. We're live at Back Nine Golf Entertainment in downtown Indianapolis. We're back in a moment here on the ISC Sports Network. Listen up, all you golf lovers. Looking for a private course for yourself or your company? Problem solved. Indy's Eastside Hidden Gym and Pete Dye's first 18-hole design is Maple Creek Golf and Country Club. Visit maplecreekgc.com today. At Indiana University, we're undaunted by challenge. We take the lead. We don't follow the crowd. Embracing the future with boldness and bravery. Unapologetically optimistic. Equipped with the knowledge and intention to change the world. Nine campuses, one purpose. Creating tomorrow, today. Indiana University, bring on tomorrow. Going the extra mile happens every day here at Perf Jones. College is one of the biggest milestones you will undergo in your lifetime. It's the excitement, I think, of knowing what you're producing is going to be on someone's wall with their diploma. It's pride, it's loyalty, it's passion. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. At Indiana Members Credit Union, we're invested in more than just your finances. We're invested in your future, the future of your family, the well-being of the community you live in, and in those who dream big. Until those dreams become a reality, any bank can give you a loan or open an account. At IMCU, we care about more than just dollars and cents. We care about doing things that make sense, and investing in you makes good sense to us. This is the place that's skill-built. Here, highly skilled physicians never rest in their pursuit to heal, to comfort, to cure. With these hands, you'll receive nationally recognized heart care and Indiana's most leading-edge cancer care. With these hearts, with these guts, with these brains, you'll find the highest level of care in the state. This is the hope that's skill-built, and it's around every corner of Indiana University Health. We'll get to our next guest on the IUPUI Coaches Show coming up in a matter of moments. First, let's take another great partner of ours. That's our friends at Taylor's Bakery. Jaguar Athletic fans, thank you, Taylor's Bakery, for supporting Jaguar Athletics. Taylor's Bakery is Indy's oldest full-line bakery whose mission is to bake happiness in every bite. Taylor's is a six-time WeddingWire.com award winner and was recently crowned the best bakery in Indy in 2024 by Next Door. Indulge in their custom cakes, irresistible donuts, Danish as other amazing treats, Taylor's is rooted in relentless commitment to quality, reliability, and community. Find them at 62nd and Allisonville, just east of Broad Ripple, and in Fishers on East 116th Street. Taylor's Bakery, Taylor made for you since 1913. Spencer Jaiwook now representing the men's swing program at IUPUI joins us. Spence, a pleasure to meet you. I hear you're kind of a shy and reticent guy, and I may have to really pull some answers for you here in <laughs> this conversation. Yeah, I'm very shy. What can I say? I think my coaches and... Everyone here at IUPUI can say that. You can tell that we're being facetious with that, and so we're going to try to limit him to seven minutes as best we can. <laughs> we may have to extend the show today. First of all, tell us, I know you're a senior here at IUPUI. Where are you from originally? Well, I was born in Michigan. Yeah. Uh, I swam there for a few years, all the way, some part of high school, and then I uh, moved down to Tennessee, and I swam there for a little bit. Swam at Nashville Aquatic Club, and then I uh, like to say that I did my prime years at XL Aquatic Club. All right, so why Indianapolis? Why was IUPUI the right place for you? I actually transferred after my freshman year down at St. Leo University. It was Division II. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just realized that I could do a lot more. I think I reached my peak there at St. Leo. Um, and then I came here, and what can I say? I love the IU Natatorium. I have the utmost respect for Coach Damian Dennis. He's really guided me these past few years. When you transferred here and you visited here, was that the first time you had a chance to see the facility? Or did you have a chance to, to swim in there as a youngster? So when I was young, um, 
zone championships, age group state, like age group nationals and stuff like that were held at the Unitorium. And I've always felt like a calling, like a like a yearning for the IUPUI Unitorium. Um, and then uh, I never took a visit because of COVID, but I just knew. I've been here so many times that I could just call this place home. So what is it about IUPUI now in, in your third year that has been such a good fit for you? The team, I love it. I love my brothers so much. The brotherhood that we have, the culture that we established, um, it's grown. It's such a beautiful program. I mean, we're developing these men that are just changing cultures, changing the people around them, being be better brothers, family members, and such. And it's just really great to see that. Uh, and and again, for as much as you love it, you also realize it. It's about time to move on. Uh, and, and so, knowing that you're in the final weeks of your days as a college athlete, what, what does that thought kind of trigger in your mind? Burn the ships. Yeah. Burn the ships. 100% <laughs> burn the ships. We are charging on the shores. There's no going back. There's no surrender. We're never backing down. All right. So um, general studies is the major for yep. you. Uh, have you thought about what life is going to be like after your, your time in the pool? What are you hoping to do with your degree from IUPUI? So actually, Damian, uh, Coach Damian Dennis really sets us up to – succeed after college mm -hmm. fully um he pushes us to get internships pushing us to be better um and so i did an internship this summer um which got me a, a job offer from uh interstate warehousing um as an operations manager and um i'll be here in anderson so i'll be coming down supporting my uh supporting my teammates and such but uh yeah it's set me up great how much time do you plan to spend in a pool knowing the tens and thousands of hours, literally like the months and years of your life you have spent <laughs> underwater. How much time are you spending in a pool once you're done swimming competitively? I mean, maybe I'll make a comeback at, uh, I think it's I think it's master swimming. Yeah. Uh, maybe make a comeback later in my life, you know, see if I can still have the juice in me. But uh, I don't think I'm going to touch the pool for a little bit. I want to end it on the big, powerful note at conference, give it everything I have. Right, never back down, stand tall. So, all right, what what are the events you're going to swim this coming weekend? <laughs> I'm on uh, the 20 medley relay. That's on Wednesday night, and it's the only thing I'm focused on right now. One event at a time, one day at a time. Um, it's I'll be swimming the anchor leg on that, so I'll be the last length doing the freestyle, and uh, it's getting me going. Well, let's face <laughs> it, it, it's an Olympic year, so we all kind of you know those of us that aren't in the pool as much as you start thinking about things like mm -hmm. that. I I get goosebumps thinking about it, l let alone you. So how much and you know, because of, 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 of turns, of, of, as you're looking, you know, for the touchpad and things like that, how much can you hear and see your teammates when you're in the water swimming your leg of that race? The thing about it is I, I just know they're there. I, I imagine yeah. my whole team behind, like, behind our side area cheering their hearts out. There's tears shed. There's so much sweating. And everyone's just so excited. Uh, I just know they got my back, so. I I also know too that again you guys are thinking a conference championship is possible. Just kind of what are you focusing on to to make that happen as best you can coming up this weekend? The big thing is about just getting your job done, right? Mm -hmm. Individually on the team, um, we have swimmers that are in ninth, seated right now ninth or seventeenth or eighteenth. These positions you can move up. Absolutely, right? And these points they add up quick. And so if everyone does their job right, everyone takes care of business, we can do it. I 100% believe it, and it's a possibility. We were so close last year, 11 points away. And uh, this year, we're just coming back with a determination to take care of business. Spencer, thanks for the time. Pleasure Thank to meet you. you, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Again, Spencer Jaiwook again from the men's swimming program here at IUPUI. Now, you want to support athletes like Spencer? We'll talk to Emily Zelo coming up on our final segment of the show. The best way to do it is through the Jaguar Athletic Fund. That's the official fundraising arm for IUPUI Athletics, and it brings financial contributions from IUPUI alumni, family, and friends to support 16 athletic programs and over 250 student athletes. The Jaguars Athletic Fund committed to enhancing the overall experience for all Jaguar student athletes, providing resources necessary for our teams and student athletes to pursue athletic and academic excellence. Gifts made directly to the Jaguars Athletic Fund provide scholarship support, improved health and wellness opportunities, facility upgrades, and so much more. Join the club now. 
IUPUIJags.com slash give now slash J-A-F. One more thing I want to plug before we get to break, and that is the tremendous food here at Back Nine. And again, if you've been to Back Nine, again, you can't miss it from downtown. It's like the North Star. Look for the Nets. Keep turning left and right. You will find this nestled up against the White River. What you may not know, in addition to fantastic golf, is outstanding food. Today, it's smash burgers and tots. What a better way to pick up your Monday than having that at some point in time today. The doors open at 4 on Mondays and Tuesdays. More full-time hours other five days a week. Again, thanks to our friends at Back 9 Golf for being a wonderful partner to both IUPUI Athletics and the ISC Sports Network. Stay, stay tuned. We'll take this quick time out. Emily Zelo joins us next, our swimming-focused edition of the IUPUI Coaches Show here on the ISC Sports Network. Listen up, all you golf lovers. Looking for a private course for yourself or your company? Problem solved. NDZ Side Hidden Gym and Pete Dye's first 18-hole design is Maple Creek Golf and Country Club. Visit maplecreekgc.com today. At Indiana University, we're undaunted by challenge. We take the lead. We don't follow the crowd. Embracing the future with boldness and bravery. Unapologetically optimistic. Equipped with the knowledge and intention to change the world. Nine campuses, one purpose. Creating tomorrow, today. Indiana University, bring on tomorrow. Going the extra mile happens every day here at Perf Jones. College is one of the biggest milestones you will undergo in your lifetime. It's the excitement, I think, of knowing what you're producing is going to be on someone's wall with their diploma. It's pride, it's loyalty, it's passion. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. At Indiana Members Credit Union, we're invested in more than just your finances. We're invested in your future, the future of your family, the well-being of the community you live in, and in those who dream big. Until those dreams become a reality, any bank can give you a loan or open an account. At IMCU, we care about more than just dollars and cents. We care about doing things that make sense. And investing in you makes good sense to us. This is the place that's skill-built. Here, highly skilled physicians never rest in their pursuit to heal, to comfort, to cure. With these hands, you'll receive nationally recognized heart care and Indiana's most leading-edge cancer care. With these hearts, with these guts, with these brains, you'll find the highest level of care in the state. This is the hope that's skill-built, and it's around every corner of Indiana University Health. Welcome back for the final time here on the IUPUI Coaches Show. Thanks to our friends at Back Nine Golf Entertainment. Emily Zelo will be joining us in a matter of moments. But first, again, another sponsor to thank our friends at 92C Partners. Proud to support Jaguar Athletics. 92C Partners is a woman-owned, full-service commercial real estate firm servicing clients throughout Indiana and beyond. In addition to brokerage services, 92C provides strategic planning, space design, construction management, and project management. If you have any real estate needs, visit 92partners.com. Emily Zelo has been standing by patiently waiting for the last 25 minutes, and she joins us now to close out the show. A native of Wisconsin, Emily, thank you for joining us. Thank and you for uh, me. of course, kind of the same thing I asked Spencer uh, from from not too far away. But why was IUPUI and the city of Indianapolis the right place for you for your college swimming? Yeah, for sure. So obviously, the pool is an amazing facility, <laughs> yes, it is. and that definitely drew me in to begin with. But um, the recruiting process was kind of crazy during COVID. Sure. And so we weren't able to go on any visits at all. And it was a lot of it was just focused on Zoom calls and really getting to know the program through like not being there and not being able to see what how they interact and everything like that. And IUPUI did the best job of showing me the culture and how each, everyone interacts with each other and the, t the team culture and everything. And it was just awesome. And um, 
I was able to make my decision pretty quickly after getting um, an, a team offer, so that was pretty awesome. All right, psychology major as well. Mm -hmm. So so obviously there's going to be some more schooling probably after your, your swimming days. What are you hoping to do with that degree down the road? Yeah, so this summer I'm doing an internship in therapy just at, in my hometown, and I'm super excited about that, but I'm thinking probably grad school to probably further my sure. education in that sort of field but um yeah so we'll see grad school hopefully at some point this is the case for virtually any student athlete but one of the things we always talk about is time management again the mm -hmm. amount of time you spend in a pool is remarkable and you have a full class load as well how do you balance the academic side of things with the athletic side of things perfect yeah so a lot of it is just making sure that i am planning out my week before it even starts. So Sunday, I like write everything down, but making sure I get a good night's sleep every night as well is very important. But um, just a lot of planning around when I know I need to be in the pool and when I have class is just super important and just making sure that you stay organized as well. As a guy that never had to practice at 6 a.m. in college, the fact of good night's sleep and then combining that with, I got to be at the pool at 530. That doesn't jive to me, but again, Good for you uh, that, that, that you can uh, accomplish that. What events do you swim for the Jaguars? I swim the 500 free, the 200 free, and the mile. So the long ones. But uh, <laughs> you, you, I'm not sure cameras caught that. Emily saw my eyes when she said the mile. They got about saucer big. How does one end up as a distance swimmer? Well, so growing up, I didn't do like a ton of distance, but um, when I got into high school, I started swimming the thousand, which is 40 laps. And then I never was like, I'm never going to do the mile. Like, that's not my thing, whatever. Because in going into college, I didn't know that the thousand wasn't offered yeah. as a conference event. And I go in and House of Champions, our midseason meet start comes up and Damien's like, I'm going to put you in the, in the mile. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I did it and I did well. And so he was like, you're kind of stuck. And so I've, I've gotten a lot better since then, but it's definitely a mental game. But it's, yeah. How many laps is the mile in the pool? 66. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> how do you pace yourself? How do you keep track of time? Um, Endurance-wise, how do you build that up? Kind of give me the secrets as to, as to how you do what you do. Yeah. So a lot of it is just a lot of aerobic training and a lot of endurance training. And um, a lot of early mornings that we are at the pool sure. before the rest of the team. And that's definitely, sometimes it's a little bit like, oh, I want to be with everyone else. But, you know, you know you have to do it. And so um, during the race, it's making sure just that you're not sprinting right away. <laughs> and you just have to be careful of the way that you pace it. But if you do it enough times, you know sure. how to do it correctly. And I think I've learned over the past couple of years that, my strategy and just trying to hold the same pace the whole time. But also you have a counter, too, who will either shake the counter or keep it still if you're on pace or you're not. And you can also see your teammates and your coaches. Sure. So if they're like, oh, my God, go, 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 like you're, that means you're doing pretty good. But, so. but you have no way, really, while you're doing that, of kind of seeing, like, the board. Yeah, no. you, you really can't. You, it has to be all internal or just mm -hmm. those visual clues, right? Yeah, and unless they're, you're at some sort of pool that has it on the side. But right. um, at our pool, it's in the back, so you can't see it. But, yeah, you just got to trust your gut. All right, so with that, uh, what are your chances in that race and others? How, how does the, the field of competition kind of shake out for you in terms of the Horizon League meet coming up this weekend? Um, <laughs> well, right now I'm ranked number one in all three of my events, so I'm super excited about that. And... I'm hoping to break a couple conference records. I have one in the 500 freestyle currently, but I'm hoping to also break that one as well. So we'll see. We're going to go for all three this year. I was going to say, now, is, is it NCA after this for you? Is, is it NIC? What, what does the postseason path look um, like for you? Well, if I swim fast enough, <laughs> NCAA's possibility, we're hoping. But um, currently it'll be the NIC championships in Florida with – a couple other swimmers. If we decide to take relays, it'll be more, but I'm super excited for either option. If Florida is the consolation prize, you're in a pretty good spot, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. Emily, Florida. congratulations <laughs> on a great year so Thank far, and, and best luck capping it off with uh, 
some steps atop the podium coming up this yes. weekend. Best of luck. Thank you so much. And that'll do it for our show today, the IUPUI Coaches Show. Again, we can't do it without the great folks at Back 9 Golf Entertainment and, of course, our ISC Sports Network crew behind the scenes, that being Jordan Shu, J.D. Arlen, and Vince Morales. Thanks to Jared Green, Ed Holdaway, everybody involved with IUPUI Athletics. We'll do it again next Monday, same bat time, same bat channel, but a different sport we'll be talking about. Find out which one next week. Thanks for joining us on ISC. Listen up, all you golf lovers. Looking for a private course for yourself or your company? Problem solved. Indy's Eastside Hidden Gym and Pete Dye's first 18-hole design is Maple Creek Golf and Country Club. Visit maplecreekgc.com today. At Indiana University, we're undaunted by challenge. We take the lead. We don't follow the crowd. Embracing the future with boldness and bravery. Unapologetically optimistic. Equipped with the knowledge and intention to change the world. Nine campuses, one purpose. Creating tomorrow, today. Indiana University, bring on tomorrow. Going the extra mile happens every day here at Perf Jones. College is one of the biggest milestones you will undergo in your lifetime. It's the excitement, I think, of knowing what you're producing is going to be on someone's wall with their diploma. It's pride, it's loyalty, it's passion. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. At Indiana Members Credit Union, we're invested in more than just your finances. We're invested in your future, the future of your family, the well-being of the community you live in, and in those who dream big. Until those dreams become a reality, any bank can give you a loan or open an account. At IMCU, we care about more than just dollars and cents. We care about doing things that make sense, and investing in you makes good sense to us. This is the place that's skill-built. Here, highly skilled physicians never rest in their pursuit to heal, to comfort, to cure. With these hands, you'll receive nationally recognized heart care and Indiana's most leading-edge cancer care. With these hearts, with these guts, with these brains, you'll find the highest level of care in the state. This is the hope that's skill-built, and it's around every corner of Indiana University Health.